guys, Kitty Sapphire here. How is everybody doing this wonderful weekend? I know it's the holidays, everybody's busy running around, enjoying the sun, enjoying their last bits of the summer season. I'm here basically resurfacing after months upon months. I tell you the truth, I don't remember the last time I actually got a chance to talk with you guys. A lot of changes have happened. I'm gonna do a separate video of basically explaining where I was for the past few months. Just to put it in perspective, I was dealing with a lot of personal things, obligations happening in my day-to-day -day life. And unfortunately, I was so tired and dealing with so much and I was a bit overwhelmed that I decided to kind of take a non-disclosed break. I'm going to probably start doing streaming possibly once a month and then I'll go into grand detail, a little bit more detail of what's been going on in my life. But I'm just so happy to see you guys. Oh my goodness, it's just been too long. So today we're just gonna do a simple unboxing. If you guys haven't noticed, my birthday just recently passed and I got a couple of things that you guys might might want to see me open up here and there so we're gonna take some time to do that here I got this box that I kind of treated myself but due to weeks upon weeks with all the craziness that's been happening I kind of lost track and there's like tons of boxes here so oh, bear with me I can't remember exactly what's in this box so we're gonna take a look uh, I hope you guys can see this well you know this box here so I'm gonna so here we got this box here and I even though I have been kind of MIA on the YouTube scene and not getting a chance to really indulge in my love for the geek community and such I have been doing a lot of artwork some sketches here and there some full-on I'm still taking commissions that are you know practically open all of that good stuff trying to not basically cut my fingers so what's this? Ooh, okay. All right, here is a stand for, ooh, oh no. This is a stand for my new Santique. Oh my God, my new Santique. If you guys don't know what that is, a Santique for, at least for me, has been a long time dream of mine. Oh dang, this thing is freaking heavy. Okay. All right, so I gotta figure out how this- Yeah, so here is a stand for my Santique. If you guys don't know what a Santique is, it's a, it's basically a tablet. It's a tablet where like, if you look at a lot of TikTok videos, they have quite a few artists on TikTok that showcase their tablets and they show them exactly what they're doing, drawing on the screen, all that good stuff. So I finally got a chance to have one. I, I've been wanting one for so, so long, but I never got a chance to, I never got a chance to get one because of the fact of how expensive they are. And it's understandable. This is like, seriously, if you're trying to upgrade yourself as an artist, these are like one of the many tools that you gotta probably scrounge around and save for it. So that was the stand. So basically I will have my setup going on here on my desk. Try to basically fit everything. <laughs> There's a couple of other things. Here is another bag that I also got for my birthday. Can't remember what's in here, so. And, oh, this is the glove. A lot of cases it would help with protecting your hands while doing long extensive work on the Santee because you're basically rubbing your hand on the screen the whole entire time. I always thought these were really cool. I often mistake them for sort of like the uh, Kingdom Hearts gloves of some sort. It's kind of funny to be honest, but never had this type of gear before completely totally excited about it but i'm like a little cuckoo a little bit <laughs> so next box this one is pretty big this one probably has it in here so this big old thing okay Oof. dang This thing is huge! Okay, so, ugh, flip it over. Again. Hey, I ordered a, okay, this, this is my baby, my new baby. <laughs> Sorry guys, but this is my new baby. My new Wacon, oh my goodness. Now, this bag, this is big, and I actually ordered a smaller size <laughs> because I don't have a very big computer desk, to be completely honest. 
to have this. So I purposely thought I had a smaller, smaller Wacom, but apparently that's not the case. I'll make do with the situation. This looks freaking phenomenal and I just love the box. Now I still have some old tablets that I don't really use anymore. So like, I don't know. I might do something with them. You never know. I might do something with them to help out my fellow artists in our community. So they have something. Just keep in touch and maybe, just maybe, well, I can get this thing freaking open. So please excuse me. Oh, it's broken. The box is broken. <laughs> I gotta jostle this open or jostle this. Oh God, I already ripped. There we go. I kind of ruined the box already, so. <laughs> ah! Come on, come on. And I'm trying to, oh God, I ruined the box. <laughs> ah! Okay, this is, this thing is huge. This, this thing is freaking huge, my goodness. Yeah, spend 15 minutes basically seeing me struggle. <laughs> Here's the cord. Okay, this is the power cord for it. And, oh God. Like I said, I, I bought a smaller version for this because of the fact that I don't have a very big artist table. Even acquiring the smaller one is just as, it's just as uh, big. Oh, this, <laughs> this is very interesting. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. Oh, the stylus is freaking gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so this is really exciting. Oh my goodness. So let's see. Okay, so it's it's not taking up my whole entire computer space, but it is bigger than I thought it was, despite the fact that it's supposed to be the smaller version. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to streaming for you guys with this new. Like, um, I just, oh, I just, I, I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited. So I'm gonna probably set this up a little bit later, but just wanted to show you guys the, I'm afraid to open it like completely. And I'll probably do a small little clip of what my workstation will look like now for the before and after. Just stay tuned for like several of my art pages at the very bottom of my video and I will show you guys these. It's gonna be exciting. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be exciting. So we have that. And then last but not least, my friend from Ye Old North got me this big old box for my birthday, which is very sweet of them. So thank you very much. My dear, my dear friend, you know who you are. Just out of respect and for anonymity for you know, all those who don't necessarily feel comfortable shouting their names out, but they know who they are regarding this and it's just adorable. And I'm excited and looking forward to see what's in here. So give me a second. Cut it well enough. Dang, I'm just trashing bags like right and left. My goodness. Okay. So you got the big old box, the treasure trove of some sort. And get rid of the paper. <gasps> oh, look! This is Luna from Sailor Moon. I am, if anybody really knows me, I'm a huge Sailor Moon fan. I love Sailor Moon. Um, a lot of it is a huge inspiration for my artwork, and uh, I just have a lot of good, wonderful memories of watching Sailor Moon with me and my mother. So having Luna here is just freaking adorable and it's just, it's just great. I, I just love this. I just love this. So I'll put this down here. What are we up? What are we up? Oh. Now I know I'm breaking hinge. Well, 
with Muna, I'm breaking hands because of the fact that, hey, usually I collect, I don't really buy plushies that much because of the fact that, A, it can get kind of out of hand. You guys know what, I, you guys know what I'm talking about. You, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, especially with me and this whole collection of plushes. And oh my god, a Sailor Moon plush. <laughs> So adorable. I never got a Sailor Moon plush. I always had a doll when I was a kid and I had the Lunar P. Wicked Lady was my personal favorite character of Sailor Moon. I know she's one of the villains, but I could relate to a lot of what Rainy was going through during that time frame. So thank you so much. And last but not least, now this is more my speed, is Alicion. I haven't been collecting a lot of plushes as of lately, to be completely honest. And I think maybe I should do like a video of showing what my collection was in the very beginning when I started this channel and what it is currently. I still have a lot of plushes to be had throughout and I to show off my complete collection and even then it's kind of questionable because not my I don't think my complete co collection can actually fit here. But yeah, it's just Aren't they adorable? Aren't they so cute? I love this. So I have a le oh my god, your face is so adorable. So smushed together is just so adorable. Look, 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 look. Oh, you're so cute. Uh oh. Something else fell. Great, lovely. But that's pretty much for like my birthday unboxing for you guys. So I got a really a bunch of cool stuff and I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and just getting a chance to reconnect with you guys it's been a, a a lot of fun just doing something simple like that and just getting back into the groove of just reacting to things and enjoying things the rest of you guys and i hope you guys are enjoying the rest of your summer because fall is definitely afoot so the vibe is going to be a little bit different and a lot of changing and it's an, and it's on to spooky season or yeah, spooky season. So I wanna guys, thank you again. If you guys wanna see more of this and me on unboxing, reaction videos, speed paints, all of that, please subscribe, share, comment. I would love to hear what you guys have to say, what videos that you might want me to react to. I would love to hit listen to those as well. If you guys wanna also continue and watch me evolve as a, as a content creator, please, please support my Patreon page. I have a lot of cool stuff on those pages and every little bit helps. So that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.